I'm Dover Caldwell Sharp Sr. I went in service in World War II in the U.S. Navy. Uh, when I went to camp, went to put, uh, went to camp down at Little Creek, Virginia, and went through boot training. And then when I came home, I had three children at home. And when I came home, my baby wouldn't have nothing to do with me. She didn't didn't know me, didn't recognize me. And and the neighbor across the street said her husband was sitting on the porch and said he just busted out the crying. He couldn't stand it. <laughs> He didn't. He didn't have to go in service, but went on the boot camp and went through that. Then when he came home, I said, my little kid wouldn't have nothing to do with me. We went back and went to gunnery school down in Little Creek, Virginia. Then the, then we went to Philadelphia. They was building the ship up there. A landing ship medium uh, used to carry tanks, and what it was for was the getting ready for the invasion of Japan. But we went on to, to Philadelphia, where the ship was being built, and they got through with it. We went on cruise up and down the coast about three or four times, seeing everything was all right. And uh, I don't know. It, we've seen so many things going on, and we didn't know what was, where we was going to. Then we got on the ship and went down the coast. We come back and went down to Key West, Florida, all the way through. Went to Key West, Florida, and that we left there, we was there on Christmas Day, and one one old boy, he was going to go home with it. He went over to the airport, and he couldn't get a ride, so he come on back. We, we had, uh, had a pretty good time until we left there and went, to, went up the coast in California to San Diego. We went up there and stayed there for about three days. Then we took off overseas. We went went to uh, went to Honolulu, which was pretty at that time of the year. And we had a we had a really good leave there. Yeah. Uh, then <laughs> when we left there, we started up the coast and. Uh, uh, we went on to San Diego and stayed up there with, for a good while, several days, and then we left there going overseas. We went to Hawaii, and uh, when we went to Hawaii, we stayed there about a week, and that's the first time I ever had a woman to cut my hair. I had women barbers, and men had all gone to, in service, and, and, and and these women was doing the hair cutting. <laughs> and that's the first time I ever had it done that way. But I, <laughs> you went to uh, Saipan and Tinian? Yeah, I went to Saipan and went to Tinian. And, uh, and, and Tinian had that big air base there. And uh, these B-29s would come out over the the runway come to just about the water and the, it was a big cliff like and the Japanese would sneak in there at night and when the planes would take off in the morning they'd shoot at them with rifles they had, they couldn't have nothing didn't have no way to get nothing there to let them carry a rifle in there to shoot at them and, and they didn't the they had a time uh, stopping all of them from shooting because they couldn't tell when they was going to be there and when they wasn't. Them island people, they was, they was mean as they could be. Uh, I don't know. You went to uh, Okinawa? 
he and went to Okinawa and Annie we talked and, and then and Kenya was the biggest base there though that we went to. And as you mentioned earlier, you uh, main objective eventually was going to be Japan and uh, your your ship was basically something that handled uh, heavy equipment, tanks and that kind of thing. Yeah, it, had ta it, it was made especially to carry tanks and uh, crew of how many people? The crew had about 50 men and four officers. How was the boat uh, shaped? You, it you... was a flat bottom boat and it was rough riding. If seas got rough, it was it was rough as it could be on that boat. And uh, it had uh, an aircraft guns on there. So you went to uh, uh, what point did you finally leave from uh, uh, the area of? Uh, Saipan, Tinian, Guam. Uh, yeah. where, were, where were you at the time uh, when uh, actually you were getting ready to go on the main assault to uh, uh, Japan? Yeah. Uh, but uh, where were you when that news came? We was in, I believe it was in Saipan whenever news come that the, that the Japs had surrendered. And we left there, we, we went on anyhow, went on to Japan after that. And then, uh, then we started back home after that. So you got back home when? I don't remember the exact date, but it was... We got discharged from uh, the Navy on the 7th of December. And that was in 1945? 1945. Okay. You uh, actually, because of your three children, uh, you actually went into the Navy much later than you might have gone. Yes. Uh, well, I was 30 years old when I went in the Navy. I hear you almost went into the Marines. Yeah. I went, left Burlington and went to first night in in Raleigh. And uh, come in there, and the, we had they hadn't told nobody what branch is going to be in, but they come in there and wanted twenty five men to go in the Marines, and it started counting off. And when they got down twenty five, they stopped. With, and I was the next man. I would have went in the Marines if if they hadn't had wanted more men. <laughs> How'd you feel about that? I, I I was happy the way it turned out. <laughs> Cause I, I liked the water and I didn't want to go to no Marines in the Army. I could see myself walking around in the mud and, and the cold and everything. And then on the ship you had a dry place to sleep. And it was, it was good. Well, what was it like uh, to uh, uh, be in the Navy and then come out and be a civilian again? Uh, well, how'd you it, feel? <laughs> It uh, it was good to get home when I, I had three kids and I was glad to see them. And my wife, she had it harder than I did when she went in. She she lived on a hundred and twenty dollars a month with them three kids. But that was that was big pay then. <laughs> What what experiences uh, did you have in the Navy that you carried through life, Carl? Well, I don't know. I, you... Did it teach you anything that uh, uh, tie into discipline? You you had to be have a disciplined life in the Navy. Uh, I bet you had uh, some of that uh, after you came out and went to work. Yeah. But a long time after I come back, though I couldn't couldn't uh, 
see the way people are going, the way they do things, it wouldn't uh, tell you something and then they wouldn't keep the word. That's something we had to do in the Navy. So that was an important thing you learned, and you you lived your life by that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, Carl, I thank you, and I thank you for your service, and I appreciate the time we've had here together. Well, it's all right. It's been so long, I about forgot a whole lot of it then.